In this video, I'll show you how to create a WooCommerce wholesale order form in just a few simple steps. So without further ado, let's get straight into it. Okay, so here we are on our demo site and throughout this video, I'm going to show you how to create a wholesale order form similar to this one where you can add advanced filters, how you can rearrange the columns, how you can enable bulk as a cart and so much more. Okay, so to get started, the first step is to head over to WooSuite.com. Go ahead and download the WooSuite wholesale plugin. Once you've done so, let's head back over to our dashboard. Okay, so here we are in our WordPress dashboard and now the next step is to go ahead and upload the WeSuite core plugin in which you just downloaded. So you can navigate to plugins, add new, go ahead and upload the plugin. Once you've done so, you'll see this WeSuite menu here. If this is your first time installing any of our plugins, it will automatically redirect you to activate or you can click on it. Once you've done so, you'll just enter in your license key and then it will walk you through um, step by step how to actually install the product table plugin. Assuming you've entered in a valid um, license key, it'll redirect you to this particular page here. You can click um, this option here to set up um, your wholesale store if you want to add different components such as a um, sales agent portal, um, such as a request the quote option, dynamic pricing and so on. It'll walk you through this step by step. Um, but in this case, we can just actually just go ahead and enable um, this product table plugin option here. Once you've done so, just toggle it to on and then I'm just going to navigate to um, the settings page. Okay, so a few things to note. So as soon as you install this plugin, it will automatically create a quick order form page. Okay, so if we navigate to pages, we should see a quick order form page. Okay, so we'll see this quick order form page here. And by default, it will automatically um, assign that product table in which we've just created to this particular page. Okay, so this is just to help you get up and running as quickly as possible. But we want to take it a step further. We want to actually customize um, how this order form is displayed. So let's go ahead and do that now. So again, you'll see this default um, product table here. We can just click edit. Okay, and then we can give it a name. This is just for internal purposes only. So if you've got multiple different order forms, you know exactly what each one's for. So we can just say quick order form here. Okay, and then here where it says quick order form page, um, here we can automatically insert this particular order form onto one of our pages. So here I've just selected um, this quick order form page, which I've already showed you earlier, but just to be sure, it's this particular page here. However, if you wanted, and this is what I personally recommend, I'll select um, no pages, and then I'll just copy the short code and then we can insert it exactly um, in a position on the page that we want. Okay, so I'd select um, no pages here. Okay, and then we'll navigate to order form information. Here we've got a few columns. So we've got our SKU code, um, product name, product image, um, the stock status, um, a short description, a price, and our add to cart button. So again, we can rearrange this. So we can drag and drop um, the image here. If we wanted to, Let's say we wanted to remove the SKU code and we wanted to add the product ID. We can just drag and drop it here. And again, we can go ahead and rearrange it as well. If we wanted, for example, to rename the um, column heading, we can do so. So we'll just click this pencil icon. And then here I can um, set this as SKU code, right? And whilst we're here as well, we can also um, add a width, so this is in percentage, so we could say 30%, meaning this particular column will take up 30% of the product table. But we'll just leave it um, blank for auto. And we can add a class here. This is if you wanna do advanced styling on this particular column. So I'll just click update, and then just X this off. Okay, I'm gonna remove the short description for now. Um, stock status, we'll leave that. Where it says name, let's rename this to product. And then just X this off, um, price, we can leave that as it is. Okay, so that's fine. So as I said, you can go ahead and drag and drop the different columns onto this particular section here. Image size, um, so this is in pixels. So currently it's 70 pixel width by 50 pixel height. Okay, I'm just gonna leave, well, let's go ahead and change this. Let's say um, 60 and 60, so it's a nice square you want to enable this option let's say for example in your short description 
you've got um, various different short codes or HTML formatting. You can enable this option so it will display um, accordingly on your quick order form. Since I don't have any of that, I'm just going to leave this um, turned off. Description length, um, here we can choose um, how many characters we want to show in a description column. So instead of going through all these individual settings, I'm just going to go through a few key ones. Um, product links, um, here we can say all. So for example, if we've included a tag, the product category, we can go ahead and link it to the relevant um, tags and category. Okay, so I'm just going to leave that as default. I'm just going to scroll up as well. And I'm going to actually add, um, let's add the category. Okay, and let's pop it here. Add to cart icon. So instead of having an add to cart button, we can display an add to cart icon here. And we can also rename the add to cart button. For example, we could say buy or something else. Okay, so bulk add to cart. Um, for this one, I'm going to enable the button and the checkbox. And for the add to cart behavior, I'm going to enable this Ajax option here. I'm going to allow um, customers to select the quantities on our order form. And then for the variation, so um, variable products, I'm going to allow users to select it via a drop down. And I'm going to leave these as default for now. Order form control. Okay, let's say, for example, on this order form, we only wanted to show products within a particular category. Then here we can select um, the conditions as category, and then here we can select the particular category. We can create complex rules, so we can say display products within the music category that's currently in stock. Or if you sell unique item piece, let's say for example um, you wanted to show um, your previous creations, then you can select, um, well we can delete this rule, and then we can just select um, stock status, and then we can select um, out of stock so customers will be able to see your previous um, designs and so on. Okay, so I'm just going to leave this as um, default for now. So no um, conditions, meaning it will display all the products on our store. Um, product filters, we can select the product filters based on our column. So in this case, it would basically create a filter for categories and that's about it for now. So in this situation we can actually create um, custom filters. So we can say we can say custom. If you click on this um, link here you'll be able to see all the different filters in which you can add. So in my case I'm going to add a category filter, a tags filter and a attributes filter as well. And we can also add a filter as well so users can filter products which are currently on sale. So that's what this option here is for. For the rest of these, I'm going to leave it as default for now. We can add a reset button, okay, and an order form design. Here we've got a few options, so we can disable the table heading. We can add a custom design. We can also enable our custom CSS, okay, that's for advanced styling. And we can also enable our bulk variation option. Okay, so I've already created a video explaining how to use this bulk variation option here. So as you can see, there's a few options. Um, so we won't cover it in this video. Instead, I'll link the particular video which I've created dedicated to this option in the description below. And you should also see a pop-out card on this video that you're watching, um, prompting you to watch this particular video. Okay, so we'll navigate to the performance settings. So if you've got lots of products, let's say over 500 products in your store, then you want to enable this cache in here. And then where it says cache expires, I'll set this to 24. And I'll also limit the amount of products that you're loading per page as well. So I'd set this to under 45, I would say. Okay, so we'll just save changes. Okay, and then when we visit our quick order form page, it should display blank. So I'll refresh it. Okay, and currently it's displaying blank, and that's because we've actually deselected um, this quick order form page from here. So it's not automatically adding our wholesale order form onto this particular page. So instead, we'll have to manually add it via shortcode. So I'm going to navigate back to the general settings page. Okay, I'm going to copy our shortcode and then I'm going to go ahead and edit this particular page here. So we'll just paste in our shortcode, hit update. And now when we view page, 
we should be able to see our wholesale order form here. Okay, so a few things to note. We can see our filters which we've created. So we've got our category filter and it's filtering it instantly. We can reset the filter. We can filter by the product attribute as well. And we can quickly reset. We can also search. Okay, and let's go ahead and remove that. Okay, and if we want, we can quickly add various products to cart. So for example, I can select, okay, so I can select four of this item and it will automatically check this box here. We can go ahead and select our option here, select six, and then let's say we'll order two of these, and then we can just click um, add selected to cart. If you want it as well, you can also display this button at the bottom of the page. Currently, I've only set it to display at the top. Okay, and we can see all our items here in our cart. So it just makes a more streamlined experience for your wholesale customers instead of constantly going back and forth to the product page um, to add products. So essentially, they'll have to visit the shop page, click on a product, go ahead and choose the appropriate quantity, add it to cart, go back to the shop page. As you can see, it's a tedious um, experience for your wholesalers. It makes sense to just display this wholesale order form here. And that's how you create a wholesale order form in WooCommerce in just a few simple steps. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe for more videos like this. And if you've got any questions, leave in the comment box below or reach out to support and we'll get back to you as soon as possible.